Good morning, good morning. It's time for brunch. Doing something really, really one of my favorites. Doing something real special in the kitchen this morning. I'm doing my Uncle Dibs breakfast skillet, veggie style. You know, this week I'm on my vegetarian wave. Get a new one of those. So this is a really, really quick and easy, no mess, less stress dish. You know, it is breakfast time here in Texas. It's brunch time on the East Coast, and it's definitely breakfast time on the West Coast. So no matter where you're from, no matter where you're watching from, let me know where you're tuned in from. Let me know where you're watching from. Put your city, your state, your town, because I don't like cooking for strangers. I like knowing who I'm cooking for. So let me know where you're watching from in the comments. I'm live out here in Texas, H-Town to be specific. But let me know where you're watching from because we're going to make something real special that no matter where you're at, no matter where you're from, you can make this dish, all right? So I'm doing my Uncle Dibs breakfast skillet. What's going on, Jax? Where are you watching from, Jax? I'm doing just veggies. I'm doing a veggie skillet today. But if you want to go ahead and put your sausage, your chicken sausage, your bacon, turkey bacon, whatever, you can put whatever you want in there, all right? I'm going to show you both ways how to do it. Des Moines, Iowa. Good morning, good morning. If you're just not tuning in, welcome to my kitchen, Uncle Dib's Kitchen. And let me know where you're watching from. I don't like cooking for strangers, so let me know where you're watching from, all right? West Philadelphia, home of the greats, one of my good friends, Sean Fallon, he's from West Philly as well. Steak, you can put, definitely put steak in there too. Kingsville, Texas, I see you, Texas repping. All right, y'all, so NYC, KC, North Carolina, we international, Japan. What time is it in Japan? Hawaii, got you, Fargo, Gastonia, North Carolina. I done drove through there many a times on my way up to Durham, Houston, Augusta. All right, y'all, we, we tapped in international. We got everybody from Georgia to J Japan, so we doing it big. Cincinnati, Merritt Island, Sugar Bear. I hope you ain't calling me that. Nashville, 11 o'clock in Japan. All right, well, good evening. All right, y'all, so listen, I'm gonna go over the ingredient list for this breakfast skillet, all right? Veggie breakfast skillet, all right? So first things first, all these are fresh ingredients. You got your red and your green bell peppers. I got my diced red onions too as well. I also have my fresh diced red potatoes. So with the red potatoes, what you wanna do you want to soak your potatoes in overnight, not overnight, for at least 30 minutes. Soak your potatoes and then just dice them up like this, all right? It's important that you dice them. You got to get that starch off, all right? I also got four eggs, some fresh grated cheddar cheese. I'll show y'all what to do with that in a minute. And then honestly, to bring this all together, we're just using one seasoning, my Uncle Dibs Straight Drop Rub, which you can get at UncleDibs.com. Use the code BRUNCH50 for 50% off all my seasonings, all right? Hit the link in my bio. And this recipe is also on my site. So go there to get the whole recipe so you can make this at, at home too as well. All right, so first things first. I got my cast iron skillet on medium heat. All I'm gonna do, throw in some butter in there. Now, this is important. If you are gonna put meat in this dish, if you're gonna put sausage, uh, bacon, whatever, you don't need to do this part because you're gonna cook that sausage and that bacon first. And all that fat from the meat is gonna do what this butter is doing. So if you're gonna use meat, cook your meat first, then remove it, and then follow the next few steps, all right? Shout out to everybody watching. If you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. We're cooking brunch this morning. Beautiful brunch right here in Uncle Dib's kitchen. I don't like cooking for strangers, so let me know where you're watching from so I can shout you out. So next things first, you're gonna put your potatoes right in there. Isn't that the best sound to wake up to in the morning? That snap crackle and pop. Good morning, Dallas, Houston, Louisville, Miami, GA, Fort Worth, Vegas, South Carolina, H-Town, that's where I'm at. San Jose, Alabama. And if you're in Houston, I'm gonna be doing a pop-up real soon. Or if you're in Texas, if you want to make that drive from Dallas or from Austin, 
I'm going to be doing something real special real soon. So make sure you follow me for the announcement. And make sure you just follow me anyway because all I do is post good food that you can cook in your kitchen, all right? So I appreciate all the love, y'all, the gifts. West Coast, San Francisco, Orlando, I see you. I want to know, what is your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Let me know what your favorite food is for breakfast. Some people just like to do the oatmeal thing. I've never really been a big fan of oatmeal, but your kitchen, your rules. Texas, I see you. New Jersey. A lot of people don't know this. I was actually born in New Jersey. Shout out to Plainfield, New Jersey. Military family. So I'm going to show you about the seasons. I'm going to show you about the seasons. Cheese omelet. I love a good omelet, too. Waffles. I ain't had waffles in a minute. Down south, we got this thing called Waffle House, but all Waffle Houses are not created the same. All right, to me, the best Waffle Houses are in Georgia. All right, I grew up in Atlanta, and Waffle House was definitely a way of life in Atlanta. French toast, grits, bacon. Okay, okay. So, like I said, if you're gonna, if you want to put meat in this. You're gonna cook your meat first and then remove it and then I'm gonna show you when to add it back in, all right? All right, so now that those potatoes are going, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add this red onion right here. And I'm just gonna continue to mix that up. The seasoning is coming, y'all, just stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how this all comes together. This is, I like making this dish, really, if you don't really feel like Go in the Waffle House and have to deal with those long lines on Saturday morning. And you just want to make something quick where you don't really have to make separate, you know, oh, somebody wants their eggs this way, somebody wants their eggs that way. This is really the all in together, like, you got people over, maybe a little too much apple juice the night before, whatever the case may be. This is the perfect dish for them, all right? So I got my potatoes in there, my red onion. And now I'm going to add these peppers, just like this, all right? So once I add these peppers in there, we're going to bust this heat up to about medium high. We're at medium now, so I'm going to put it at medium high. We continue to mix this up, and like I said, I'm just doing veggies because I'm doing vegetarian food uh, or vegetarian diet this week. Every week I like to do something different, so Last month, I did a lot of barbecue, so I was eating a lot of ribs and beef and everything like that, so got to give my digestive system a break. So I've just been doing vegetarian stuff this week. Last week, I fasted, so trust me, I would love to have a little bacon, a little sausage in this too as well, but you know, you got to take care of yourself, you know what I mean? But that doesn't mean you can't eat good at the same time, so I'm showing you how to eat good without hurting yourself all the time, you did? Appreciate the roses, appreciate the love, Darlene. So like I said, to bring this all together, because as you've seen, I haven't used any salt, any pepper, or anything. I'm just getting the veggies cooked. I'm using this seasoning right here, my straight drop all-purpose rub. You don't need to be using 20 different seasonings just to get the flavor you want. I put all the spices you need in this one bottle, it's all natural. I let the spice do the work, all right, just like that. Let the spice do the work and let it do its job, all right? And once you season it up like that, and once again, you can get this seasoning from UncleDibs.com. Use the code BRUNCH50 for 50% off during this live, all right? The link is in my bio. And to get this full recipe, this Uncle Dibs breakfast skillet, go to UncleDibs.com and you can get this full recipe. And most importantly, what I forgot to also say at the top of the live, you're gonna wanna set your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit because we're gonna put this in the oven. Appreciate that, Robert. What's your favorite breakfast, Unc? My favorite breakfast? Man, that's a good question. Honestly, breakfast is probably my favorite meal of the day, but I really don't ever eat it like that. You know, I'm usually just do my coffee and I might do like a smoothie, which I'm gonna show you how to make here in a minute. But honestly, for breakfast, I just love a really, really good spinach, bacon, and cheddar cheese omelet. I'm simple. I don't really like doing too much sweet stuff, you know, pancakes and waffles and stuff like that for breakfast, but if you, if you want to make me happy, give me a nice 
bacon with a buttery, some buttery eggs, like a French omelet. Put some bacon, put some spinach, put some cheese in there. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. So right now, if you just not tuned in, I'm doing my Uncle Dibs breakfast skillet. In this skillet right here, I just got potatoes, red onion, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and seasoning. All I have is that straight drop rub, which you can get during this live from UncleDibs.com. Use the code BRUNCH50 for 50% off, y'all. 50% off just because, all right? 50% off. Yes, my seasoning is good for people with high blood pressure because it's all natural for one, but then for two, I also made this. So this right here, the straight drop rub, the no salt version of it is called BB Salt Free, which is named after my mom. My mom had high blood pressure, heart issues, so I made a seasoning for her with no salt. All flavor, still get the flavor, but no salt, all right? You can either add salt afterwards, whatever you want to do, and also 20% of the sales of this seasoning go to the American Heart Association at the end of every month. So go to UncleDibs.com, use that code BRUNCH50 to get this seasoning plus all my other seasonings for 50% off. BRUNCH50 at checkout, UncleDibs.com. I see some questions. I love my cast iron, but I'm learning how to cook with it. Really, the cast iron is an essential. For, if, if you can only have one a uh, piece of equipment in the kitchen, one pan, you got the right one, all right? Cast iron is exactly what you need because it's an all around get it done. But you have to take care of it, okay? So cleaning it, seasoning it, all that, all those uh, precautions you need to do just to keep the cast iron on point, it'll last you for 50 years. Listen, any, any toxic, any negative, Energy in my life, I don't allow, all right? You can do that anywhere else, but if you're the type of person that hops on someone's live that's just cooking breakfast first thing in the morning and you're toxic, you got a lot of problems in your life. That's all I'm going to say. All this negative stuff going on in the world, we do not need any toxicity for, uh, for a man cooking breakfast in the kitchen. I mean, who am I hurting right now? Come on now. Are we, are we really that lame that we got to get online first thing in the morning or first thing on the day on a Saturday when nobody got to work? That's what you're doing? Come on now. Top of the morning, Jody. Appreciate that, Chef Creole. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Malik. Listen, honestly, with cast iron, I know there's a whole big debate about, oh, don't use soap or don't clean it or whatever. Honestly, clean it how you want. It's really how you dry it, okay? After you're done using the cast iron skillet, what you have to do is clean it off however you want to clean it off, but you cannot let it dry, just air dry. Put it either in the oven or on top of the, a burner and let it, the heat dry it, okay? That presents all that rust. Once it's dry, you can take some olive oil or some canola oil like this, spray it around, take a napkin and wipe down the, the inside of the cast iron so it doesn't rust. Definitely get a cast iron when you need it. Appreciate the love, y'all. Appreciate the love. All right, y'all. So this has been going for about 10 minutes or so. So now this is the next part. I'm going to make some little divots right here. Four divots because I'm going to put four eggs into this, all right? And I'm going to drop those eggs right in those divots, okay? So very simple. Just crack your egg open. Try not to get any shell in there. Right in each divot, okay? Just like that. I don't think I'm gonna get any shell in it. We'll see, let's we'll see. Oh yeah, no shell, that's what I'm talking about. So I got my four eggs just like that. Yeah, any tips that you have for cast iron skillets, please put them in the comments because we all can learn. I'm here to learn from y'all and y'all can learn from me. It goes both ways. This is a two-way street. And then for the eggs, because the eggs got to get a little seasoning, I'm going to put some more of that Uncle Dibs straight drop rub as I spill a little bit of it, which you can get at UncleDibs.com once again. Use that code for 50% off. Brunch 50 for 50% off, all right? I got my oven at 400. 
I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to let y'all see it before I put it in. Oh, that thing heavy, 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 heavy. Put it right in the oven, 10 minutes. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Put a timer because I know I'm going to forget that it's even in there. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to upgrade that from that to this. Thank you, Marsha. I appreciate you, baby. Thank you. All right. So listen, give that 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, I'm going to go ahead and put some fresh shredded cheddar cheese right over the top, back in there and melt it. Stay tuned, all right? So while that's cooking, you know, veggies are important, but also fruits and vegetables are also important. So I'm going to show you how to make my daily smoothie that I make in the morning every morning, okay? This gets me right. It gets me feeling good. It gives me an energy boost. This is something that you can make in your house on the go. You can take it with you. So I'm going to show you how to do this, all right? So first things first, let me get my blender set up so I can show you how this goes down, okay? So first things first, what I like to do, I'm gonna go off camera, I like to put a little ice and a little bit of water, only maybe about like a third of a cup. I'm gonna show y'all here. Just a little ice and a little water just to make it a little cool, okay? So a little ice, a little water, and then I like to start off with my seeds, all right? I got some flax seed. How do you say this? Is it chia seeds or chai seeds? I don't know how to say this. Is it chia seeds or chai seeds? C-H-I-A, is it, is it chia? Like a chia pet? So what I like to do, first and foremost, I'm gonna bring this over here so you guys can see what it is I'm doing. Is it chia or chai? Chia, okay, thank you, thank you. Sorry y'all, my English ain't so good, as you can see. So I like to just take about like a third of a cup of the, chi of the chia seeds, drop that right in there, all right? Organic, got those omega-3s in there, and then the flax seeds, I like to do the exact same thing, all right? I like to drop that right in there. And I'm showing you guys this because I saw a really disturbing video on TikTok, you know, TikTok is crazy. You see all types of stuff on there, stuff that you even think about seeing, all right? I saw this video of this family, and this is no judgment because I don't know nothing about them. I don't know them from a can of, a can of paint. But I saw this family. It was an older woman in, in a, uh, one of those um, electric carts that you see at Walmart and stuff like that. Some of y'all might have seen this video because you know how the algorithm just shows us all the same stuff. She was in one of those electric carts. It must have been her daughter and her granddaughter. And you know how the cart has that basket in the front? And the basket was filled to the brim. Not even to the brim, it was overflowing with nothing but frozen food. Nothing but frozen food. You making breakfast too, Brianna? What you making? So I'm talking about White Castles, the, the frozen pizza bites, the frozen chicken nuggets, the frozen breakfast biscuits, the frozen everything. I was just like, damn, we gotta do better, y'all. Like, listen, especially when Big Mama is cooking that stuff, she's heating that stuff up, we gotta do better. So, you know, I'm not asking nobody to be perfect out here, but just, just, just take the time to cook at home. Like, it's fun, it's better for you. That frozen stuff is not the move. That's why all my seasonings, I make sure a point to make sure all of these are all natural. There's no chemicals. There's no metals. Look at some of that stuff and Google some of that stuff that's in some of the seasonings that you may have at your house. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. So it takes a little bit more time to make stuff all natural, but it's better for you in the long run, all right? So use that code BRUNCH50 to get some of my seasonings for 50% off just so you can try them out. You're getting 50% off. So, you know, you know, if you watch my lives, you know I don't ever do that. But back to this smoothie. That's why I'm showing you how to make this smoothie because you can get full off of this the right way. So right here, some turmeric powder. Just about a teaspoon of that, okay? Next up, I'm gonna take cucumber. I'm just gonna cut it right in half, just like this. I'm gonna drop that right in here, all right? Next thing, all my fruits are washed. I take, as soon as I get them, 
I washed them. There's some healthy foods, frozen foods out there, definitely, definitely. But this was not. There was nothing healthy in this dish. White Castle's not healthy. Um, those Jimmy Dean break, breakfast biscuits ain't healthy. No problem eating it, but literally the whole cart was nothing but but that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the root, the root is good too. Whatever you want to use. A handful of raspberries. My hands may be a little bit bigger than yours, but a handful of raspberries. I also like to do a handful of fresh strawberries. Right now, strawberries are best in season to get right now. They're so juicy, they're so sweet. So if you can get some fresh berries, raspberries, strawberries, get them right now, okay? I keep the stems on them too because anything green is good for me, all right? You don't have to do it. If you want to take them off, that's fine. We're going to blend it up. It's going to go to smithereens anyways. You used to shop like that, but not any, never again. Hey, I'm proud of you, baby. Listen, we all, we all have had some bad habits, but it is what it is. All right, so listen, I just get one of these from Costco. So it's got some pre-cut fruit in there. Easy. Cantaloupe. Handful. Some melon. Handful. Some mango, handful. Some grapes, handful. See, like I said, once again, I need a moderator. Who wanna be my moderator? Because I can't deal with all these, this, this toxic behavior, especially when I'm cooking a good smoothie. Anybody wanna be my moderator? Who's been watching this live? Noonie, you wanna be it? Z-Shot? All right, Noonie, I'm going to let you be since you said it first. Let me click on you, Noonie. So, Noonie, all I need you to do, if you see any negative, toxic comments, just block them, okay? Also, if you see anybody just join the live, let them know what I'm cooking. I'm doing my Uncle Dib's breakfast skillet, and I'm doing... Can I make more than one moderator? All right, Canadian, you can be one, too. And use that code BRUNCH50 at checkout. All right, so for probiotics with the smoothie, I'm just using strawberry and what is this, vanilla, just to get those probiotics, all right? So I'll use two of these and I'll just drop these right in here. Like I said, this is a great energy booster. This is something that you can make on the side of your breakfast if you have having cereal, whatever. It really just gets the job done. This, this honestly will keep you full for most of the day. So I do two of these, those probiotics are good for your gut, that good bacteria for your gut. You need this stuff. You're not gonna get this from that frozen fruit, from, from, uh, from um, the frozen dinner aisle, all right? So you gotta make this stuff at your house. Some fresh spinach right there. Stuff that right down in there, okay? And then I like to top it off with a little avocado, okay? Listen, hey, listen, any, any, any negativity, I ain't got time for it today, y'all. It's Saturday. How can you be mad on a Saturday? Must have got stood up last night. Must, she, must, she must ain't called back last night, man. I don't know what to tell you, but listen, I don't need that. I don't need that. Yes, it's good for digestion. It's good for everything, all right? So I got my avocado. How many calories? Probably not a lot. I, I'm, I, don't, I can't sit here and tell you exactly how many, but it's definitely no carbs. The flaxseed got little carbs, but other than that, this is really just more about that energy boost that you're gonna get, all right? If you're on a diet, please consult your doctor, as they say, and let them tell you what you should and shouldn't eat, because Uncle Dibs is your uncle. He's not your doctor, okay? So I take those, Avocado right in there, and then honestly, I just push everything down just to make sure everything can get properly smoothed up. I'm gonna move all this out the way, and then we're about to blend this thing. Anybody seen that show? Will it blend? Thank you, sexy and brilliant. I appreciate that. Sexy and brilliant is gonna answer all your nutritional questions. All right, I'm gonna get this blender ready to go. Sexy and brilliant. She is going to go ahead and let you know exactly what is in the smoothie, all right? So when this 
comes into one. I call this a Captain Planet smoothie right here. So this is what it looks like before. All you see is natural ingredients right up in here. We got some mangoes. Can you tell me what you guys see? Got some spinach in there. I got my seeds, my chia seeds. All right, my flax seeds. All right. And you guys see my timer going off. Y'all remind me, please remind me in one minute to open that oven to get that skillet out. One minute, all right? Yogurt and my probiotics, all right? Somebody said big boys don't care about probiotics. Listen, I definitely care about all that. I definitely care about all that. All right, so I'm using a Ninja 1500 watt blender, but use what you got, all right? Use what you got. Strawberries and grapes, exactly. Don't forget the water and the ice. Just power it on. I like to start off with crush. It's gonna get real loud, cover your ears. My favorite part right here. I like to see if it'll all blend up or if it's gonna get stuck and I gotta shake it. I'ma see. While that's doing that, I'ma take that skillet out the oven, all right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Blend it up, blend it up, blend it up. We gotta give it a little shake, y'all. All right, let's try it again. There it go, there it go, come on, come on, there we go. Yeah, just give it a nice shake. You even gotta open it up. So now I take it down to blend. So I'm gonna let that go for a little bit. And then I'm gonna boost it back up to crush, just to lock it in, all right? Back up. What did we do before we had blenders, y'all? What did we do? All right, power that off. Let's look at this finished product. Are you ready for the smoothie reveal, y'all? No watermelons in there, not this time. I ran out of watermelon. We got a, a missing soldier next time. That right there is what you call love. Love yourself, all right? Love yourself. That honestly is the thing that gets my day going, gets me in the right mood, everything like that. And let's take a little sip just like this, straight out of there. That's good, shawty. So I'm gonna save the rest of that. So I got my skillet over here, right? I didn't forget. So y'all see my skillet right now? All I'm gonna do, shredded cheese right on there, some cheddar. Just like that, then we're gonna throw this back in the oven just for that to melt. If you like your eggs a little bit more well done, you can keep it in the oven for another 10 minutes if you want, but I like mine that's a little bit over easy. I'm just looking for that cheese to melt, all right? Actually, you know what, Rhea? I wish I added honey in there. I always forget something. And honey, listen, I got it right here. You know, in Texas, we use that Texas raw honey. I wish I, wish I would have remembered that because that definitely gives it a nice little zing. What gloves do I use? Weird question, but I'll answer it. It's called Fifth Pulse. Straight from Amazon, honestly, the best gloves. I get them on that subscription timer, so you can save some money, and then by the time I'm out of them, I usually got one delivered right to me. It's two on a Sunday for me. Where you at? 
Where you guys at? Where you at? If you're just now tuned in, we're making brunch. I just made this delicious smoothie right here. That had, what did it have in it, y'all? Strawberries, grapes, yogurt, water, ice, cucumbers, mangoes, cantaloupe, grapes, uh, spinach. Detroit, what up, though? Arizona, LA, West Coast, pineapple, exactly. Matter of fact, Sexy and Brilliant, you can become a moderator too because you're definitely doing a good job. And for all the nutritional information, Sexy and Brilliant is definitely gonna put it up in there for you. Very low calories. I also put some avocado in there too as well, some turmeric powder, thank you. Uh, Vega, thank you. Marsha. Exactly. This is why I start my day off with right here. Because I, sometimes I don't get all my vegetables in the day. Sometimes I don't get all my fruits in the day. So boom. And also, fellas. Where my fellas at? I like to start off with a nice one a day vitamin two as well. All right. Just one. And I take it right with the smoothie. Boom. Just like that. That's good, Shawty. Dallas, thank you. Thank you for watching. All right, y'all, so I got my smoothie. I got my eggs, my veggie, breakfast, skillet in the oven right now. I'm gonna clean up just a little bit. Now while I'm cleaning up and while I'm waiting for this cheese to melt, any questions you may have, let me know now. So I work two gigs anyway. I can make this and freeze it. You can definitely make this and freeze it. So once it comes out, Grab your little Tupperware container, eat what you want, the rest, put it in a Tupperware container, put it in the freezer, and then go ahead. When you're done, when you want it again, thaw it out, warm it up, and you're good to go. Yep. Any other questions, y'all, before I show you what this skillet it's really hitting on, because I'm going to eat it for you live, too. I know it's going to be hot as hell, but, you know, no pain, no gain, right? Yes, and so that 50% code you guys see is for all my seasonings. We talked about this earlier, just about what you're putting into yourself, you know. All my seasonings, no matter what it is, my Dirty Bird, my Atlanta Lemon Pepper Hot, my Straight Drop Rub, what we used on the eggs today. All of this is all natural. And you can get this, the, all these seasons, plus all the seasons I use today, for 50% off, use that code BRUNCH50 at UncleDibs.com. These are the vitamins right here. One a day for men, okay? I think they got a women's version too as well, but one a day for men, how many is in here? 300 tablets, so it should last you most of the year, okay? You can get it anywhere. Mmm. So that... Combined with this, I'm gonna have a great day today. I'm about to go get a haircut in a couple of hours. Then I'm gonna move and groove through the city a little bit, try to find something to get off into. A seafood seasoning, not specifically, but for seafood, this is what I use, my King Creole blend. My King Creole blend, perfect on shrimp, salmon, crabs. If you like that food that you get down in New Orleans, Louisiana, this is it right here. This is it. Get this for 50% off. Use that code BRUNCH50. That steak rub is also the truth too as well. That Texas steak rub, not just on steaks. You can put it on burgers, turkey burgers. My sister even likes it in her eggs. This right here, busting, all right? You can get this also for 50% off. Use that code BRUNCH50, all right? Try adding sea moss as well. Thank you for the tip. See, that's what I'm cool with right there. When we're having that trade of advice, that constructive building right there, I'm with that, all right? All that trolling and stuff like that, like it's 2014 still, like grow up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But that right there, I love it. You look similar to the guy in the seasonings. Well, I don't know. Do you guys think I look like him a little bit? Let me, let me see if I can get that pose down. What is he doing? 
Does that look like me, y'all? Let me turn my hat back. I don't know. Does that look like me? I don't know. Yes, this is me. These are my seasonings that I created. So that is me on the bottom, all right? Appreciate you watching. All right, y'all. Let me turn off my oven and let's get to work on this skillet. I'm gonna need two hands for this one because this thing is, let me get this. Come over here, let me get that. All right. Appreciate my moderators holding it down. I appreciate y'all. So just to top it off, you know we gotta do a little bit, gotta do a little bit fancy, you know that, right? I'm gonna take a little, a little parsley, just to give it that pop of color right there, y'all. And I'm gonna show you what y'all created with me right here on this beautiful Saturday morning in Uncle Dib's kitchen, y'all. Y'all ready? T Houston, what it do? All right, y'all, you ready? Three, two, one. Who wants a bite, y'all? Who wants a bite? Uncle Dibs special right here. That breakfast skillet on the veggie side of the game. All right? All that's in here, y'all, is the good stuff. Potatoes, red and green bell pepper, red onion, four eggs, some fresh cheddar cheese right on top. Okay, look at this, y'all. Who wouldn't want to wake up to this? And then for seasoning, all you needed was this, the straight drop rub to bring it all together, which is available for 50% off. Use that code BRUNCH50. I, I wish I could just dive off into this right here. Look at this, y'all. Who needs a plate? I'm, I'm about to get the plates together right now. Who needs a plate? Savannah, come on. Australia, come on. Shout out to Australia. Australia is one of my favorite places. I actually went to Australia once in 2015. I went to Melbourne, Perth, Brisbane, Sydney. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful island. The biggest island in the world. Did you know that? Charlotte. All right, y'all. Let me get some of this on the plate. I'm going to need a big spoon for this one. Big boy style. So honestly, I like to get a little egg, a little veggie. So we're gonna do it just like this, y'all. All you gotta do is just cut just a little bit like that, scoop it up, just as such, and just drop it right on your plate. You want some more veggies? You can drop that down there too as well. And I like to add a little hot sauce on the mine too. I still got my hat backwards. Is that a good look for me, y'all? I look like um, Samuel Jackson and um, Jackie Brown. I'm gonna add a little hot sauce on mine. I have not been to New Zealand. I definitely wanted to go. We were about to go while we were over there since we were already over there, but I think we had some issues getting in. I'm gonna add a little, add a little hot sauce on mine, just like that. What's your favorite hot sauce? I'm using crystals today. I'm using crystals today. What's your, what's your favorite hot sauce though? Where my, where my Latinas at? What y'all know about that Valentina? Where my Caribbeans at? What y'all know about that Grace? Pepper sauce. Listen, I got something for everybody. I got something for everybody, y'all. All right, so that's all it looks like right there on the plate. All right, let's try this thing out. But first, thank you, Lord, for this food about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so what I'm going to do, grab a little bit of that egg, just like that. A little potato. A little veggie. It's gonna be so hot, but, but I'm down. I'm down, let's do it. That's good, Shawde. Listen, y'all, I don't even miss the bacon. I don't miss the sausage. This right here is it for me. You can take this, you can eat it all in one sitting. You can freeze it. 
You can eat some today, some tomorrow, whatever you want to do. And then also look, no mess. This is the only pan I use, no mess, which is the best part about it because the breakfast can get a little messy. The smoothie was more messy than this was. Y'all, Uncle Dip's hot sauce on the way, I got you. E, make this, you're gonna love it. And then, just to cool things down, a little bit of that smoothie. That's good, Saudi. All, all I did was put my potatoes in the skillet first, then I put my veggies in there. Then I put my seasoning on there, that straight drop rub, 50% off at UncleDibs.com during this live. I cracked four eggs on there, made a little indentions on the veggies, dropped the eggs in there, the oven, 400 degrees for 10 minutes. I took it out, sprinkled some cheese in there, put it back in there for about three or four minutes, and then we're done, all right? You can get this whole recipe at UncleDibs.com. The link is in my bio, or it's on my page. Just follow me, and you can find this, plus many other great recipes. I appreciate y'all tuning in this morning. I appreciate the positivity, the love. I appreciate my moderators, Canadian. Um, what's the other young lady's name? Uh, all my moderators, you guys know who you are. I appreciate y'all for the love that anybody that bought some seasonings. What time is it now? All right, it's 11.35 here in Texas. I'll give y'all about 10 more minutes. You guys can go to UncleDibs.com and use that code for the next 10 minutes. Brunch 50 for 50% off all of these seasonings right here. Just for y'all, all right? Nooney, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right? So I hope you guys enjoy your day. I'm about to go eat. I'm about to go get me a haircut. And I'm going to see you guys on Tuesday for the next live, all right? Much love to y'all. Y'all make sure you eat good. And let me do this one last time because I am hungry. Let me just get one last bite before we leave, all right? We're going to leave off on this note, okay? Sexy and brilliant. Thank you for the being a moderator. Thank you so much. That's good. Shout out. Be safe. I love y'all.